This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'm going to add a normal map to the Nathan figure here. Now, Nathan doesn't come with Poser 8 or Poser Pro 2010. The Nathan figure is available from the Smith Micro website. It can be obtained from the Tutorials section, and it's included in the section about character creation. And there's a whole set of resources to go with the Nathan figure, including a normal map. So what I've done is rendered an image of Nathan here without the normal map applied, and you can see that Nathan's body is quite smooth. Likewise his face, there isn't a lot of surface detail there. So I'm going to add some detail now by applying a normal map. Now to do that I just come into the material room, and then I need to select the parts of the body that actually have normal maps for them. So I'll drop down the list here. Eye whites is not an area that has a normal map. So I'll click on Nathan's body, and you can see the image map preview there of Nathan's costume. Now I need to add a new node for a 2D image. So I'll come down to 2D textures and image map, and there's the new node. Now there aren't any assignments yet, so I need to assign an image source. So I'll actually drop down the list here because Nathan's normal map is actually already available on this list. So I'll come down to Nathan body normal here. And there's the image. Now this is actually a tangent map. There are two different types of maps which can be used as normal maps. Tangent based maps will be predominantly blue, while object based maps will be more rainbow in color, leaning often toward green. There are various programs available to help you create normal maps such as ZBrush, Mudbox and Silo, but for the moment I'll just concern myself with what to do with the map we have here. So, I'll change the custom gamma value here to 1. That's going to show up a little bit light at the moment. So I'll change that to 1. And then I just need to plug it into the right place. Now, this is actually a gradient bump map, or at least it needs to go on to the gradient bump node. So I'll just connect it there. And it is a tangent map, so I'll just make sure that's selected. And then I'll need to do the same for Nathan's head. So I'll just select his head component. And again, I'll need to create a new image map node here. 2D textures, image map, and then I need to assign the right texture, the right map. And there's the Nathan head normal map. Again, another tangential map, so I'll just change the custom value to 1 there again. And then plug it into the gradient bump. There you are, I'll just make sure that's normal map again. And then I'll just come into the pose room. And then we'll render the image again with the normal maps applied. Well, this time you can see a lot more detail on the surface of the Nathan figure. And these are applied with the normal maps. So if I just wipe between the two renders now, you can see the smooth initial render. Very little surface detail. As you come back now, you can see the seams appearing on the costume. The logo appearing to be a little bit more proud of his body and the creases around his neck and shoulders, and more detail on his face. So that's applying a normal map to a figure.